everybody. Welcome to the Grace Grella Show. I'm Grace Grella, your intuitive host, and for some reason, I keep seeing the intro on my screen here, Mike. And are we live, live, live yet? Live, right here, live. Okay, now I'm seeing myself, okay. Well, it's that kind of night. You want to know why it's this kind of night, people? Because I have David Hale. What the hell is going on here, David? I don't know. Everything is so excited. We've, we've fried the telephone lines, and um, so they're not available to us, unfortunately. So I really believe this is just the universe's way of having you come back, take pity on me, and come back so that we can have the, the phone-in version of all the people who are uh, so frustrated at this moment in time because they want to uh, speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. But there still is the comments on the Facebook page, yeah. people. So, and that's how David works from, uh, from home. He uh, peruses and, and looks at a name and, um, you know, spirit moves him and he's got information for you. So definitely, uh, you know, just say hello, David. Say hi. Let him know that on the common area that you're with us because it's very important for him to know that. Um, uh, Linda, Hill, Linda Alba, thanks so much for your compliment. Um, oh, Lou George is watching, and you got a lot of hearts from Lou. Uh, that's really fabulous, David. All right, uh, Jos van Dyke, I'm so happy uh, you're watching as well. Um, so basically, I have to first rave about how awesome David Hale is, okay? And I know he's, he's a lovable Libra. Um, he's probably gonna get all flushed and, and pink cheeks <laughs> over this because he's so yeah. modest, God bless his soul. But he's awesome. The a spirit moved me to find him on, on Facebook and energetically, instantaneously, I was like, wow, talk about um, a gift a non-refundable gift, as we all know, but um, uh, so blessed, so brilliant, and he's a healer, too. Woo-woo! So uh, did you know that uh, you can get healings from David as well? And when you see him work, it's just he goes to another dimension. You know, it's like the time warp, you know, from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, it's amazing how he does evidential mediumship. And um, I, I don't say that lightly. It takes a lot to impress me. I know so many gifted people. And uh, David is very impressive. So I'm sure you'll see that for yourself. And, um, but right now, I'd, I'd like David to give it, give it a go because I love his accent. I think I could just watch him for hours just to listen to his uh, dulcet tones. And um, David, I, I, I'm not trying to embarrass you at all. I'm just, you know, no, no brag, just the facts. That's what's going on here. Uh, you are that awesome. And uh, all that, a bag of chips, a Z snap, and three <laughs> bottles of soda. And um, David, could you just let uh, the audience know um, how you originally got into doing this? Yeah, sure. Well, hello, hello everybody. Um, nice to be here, and thanks for Grace for inviting me on. Here I am. Um, so yeah, how did I start? Um, I've kind of always been into it from, from a very young age, actually. Um, but it wasn't until about three years ago that I actually started taking it seriously. And I thought, I watch a lot of mediums myself, and I've watched a lot of mediums and psychics my whole life, really. And I and I've always had those kind of experiences. At the time, I didn't know what they were until I kind of figured it out three years ago. So I kind of started it a bit later in life. Um, but I thought, you know, I want to do that. I want to I want to help people. Um, so I started self-developing. And then I luckily found um, a spiritualist church in my local area. And from that point, that's really helped me to develop um, my ability, really. And that's kind of where it started. David, 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 there is just so, so many miracles that your energy is manifesting even at this moment because Mike Peters, our media man, our miracle media man in there, said that we have somebody that did get through on the telephone line. Can you imagine this? Oh, wow. So let's see, Mike, can you get the caller through to us? Yes. Hello? Yes, hi. Hi, what's your name, love? Uh, uh, Debbie. Debbie. And it's, when's, it's, when's your birthday, Debbie, month and day? Uh, March 26th. March 25th? 6th. 
6th, March 26th. Yes, I, 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 I call you Grace. Okay, so you're in Aries. And yes. Okay, and um, uh, did you want David to see if anybody in spirit was uh, coming through for you today? Oh, yes, that'd be great. Hi, Debbie. Hi, David, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. Um, so let me see. I want to say what I, who, what I, who I feel is that it is a female figure, is what I feel. Um, and I want to put her on a maternal link. And when I pick up on a maternal link, that to me is either mother, grandmother, great grandmother, along that kind of line, on those kind of I'm lines. I'm sorry, yeah, I think, I'm, I'm sorry. Up. Um, what, I want to use the word, I'm quite random, you see, so I'll just, whatever comes into my head, I say it. <laughs> I feel like I've got a lady who, I want to, I want to use the word, quite, she was quite sassy. And what I mean by that is that she would give her opinion if she needed to. Does that make any sense to you? Now, what was that, David? It's hard to hear you. Okay. Um, so if the female NGI I pick up here, uh, the word I want, to, I want to use to describe is quite a sassy character. Because so I feel like a really strong woman who would have spoke her mind, even even if you didn't want an opinion, she would have given it to you anyway. Does that make oh, any yes, sense to you? Oh, yes, that could be my mother-in-law. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, that she's coming through, and I just feel like um, the, the, the strength of this woman, do I want to say, I don't feel like she had it easy. I want to say that I don't feel like she had an easy life. Does that make any sense? Yeah, she didn't have an easy life. Nope. Yeah. Um, but, she's a, but she's a tough woman, and she got through it, right? Yes, so I feel like she she's, she's stepping in here just to say hello, just to come, come in and say hello to you. But I feel like, I don't know if you're quite similar, because you, for me, your energy vibration, what I'm feeling from you is that you feel, you're quite a strong lady yourself. Um, I don't feel you've had it that easy either. So I don't know if you had that kind of connection with her wherein you had similar experiences, but I just feel like she's also, although she wasn't your mother, she was still a lady. Well, could it be my grandmother? To. It could possibly be, because I'm just feeling that maternal energy, which to me is a mother, mother-in-law, grandmother energy that's coming through. I feel like I want to say it feels like an older generation to me, so I want to say more grandmother rather than a mother-in-law, if I'm honest. I bet um, it's my grandmother. And she talks to me about she's having, the, she's having her hair done. So she had, while she's been up there, she had her hair done. So... I don't think she used to always visit the hairdressers, but she's telling me she's got her hair done really nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Yep, it does. Yep. Okay. Um, just, I'm trying to get a message off her just quickly. She wants you to know, she keeps using the word... Now, this might sound quite generic, I know, but she's telling me she's very, very proud of you because of how far you've come and what you've come through. So that's gonna, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be a personal situation to you. I don't know if that's relationship-wise, but she's telling me, I almost feel like for yourself, you've had to fight to get where you are. Does that make any sense? Oh God, yes, it does, yeah. Okay, so that's what she's telling me about. And she's ever so proud that, that you have, you've done it, you've got through it. And I also wanna to say to you, she wants me to pat you on the back, as in, you need to give yourself a pat on the back, right? Oh, so don't you. necessarily feel like you've looked at your life and gone, look how far I've come. And she wants you to do that. And she wants you to go, do you know what? I'm here, I've done this, and I need to give myself a pat on the back, right? Wow. So she wants, so she wants you to do that. So I leave a love with you, my love. Oh, wow. I'm just amazed. I'm just so blown away right now. <laughs> <laughs> David well, does have that effect on people. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you. I was hoping my dog was going to come through. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a dog earlier. Hang on. Did, is, there, is there a stomach issue? Did your dog have a stomach an issue in the bowel of the stomach or the lower half of the yeah. body? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that dog was with me earlier on because before I came on, I, I meditate as I always do to get in the zone. 
and there's a dog running around. Now, I don't get the breeds. I just get given a, a dog, basically, just not in my frame of reference. So I just get given dog, but I was told about an issue in the lower part of the body, like the stomach or the bowel. So if that is your dog, then your dog is up there running around, obviously with your grandmother. Oh, my God. Oh, David, thank you, because I miss him so much. And it's no, longer, it's no longer in pain, right? I have to say that as well. It's no longer in pain. It's almost like yeah, he, he can walk again. I don't know if he, if he has the weakness in his legs or his back legs, but not anymore. Yes. Yes. All right, so he's running around with the other dogs up there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I, miss, I miss him so much. But it's not left yet. He'll always be, although he's in spirit, not physically here, he'll always be with you, okay? Don't forget that. Oh, oh David, thank you so much, because that was really who I missed, was him and my my grandmother and my and my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, too. Uh, okay, I'm not feeling his essence. I know it's your grandmother and the dog that's come through, but hopefully next time um, oh. your brother-in-law will make an appearance as well. Right. Oh, David, thank you so much. Really, you're a very, very nice person. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, Debbie. Take care of yourself. You too. Thank you. Have Bye, guys. Have a good night, Deb. Right. Thanks for calling in. See, everybody? I told you he was brilliant. <laughs> and he is. <laughs> all right. Um, and all dogs do go to heaven, as the Disney movie would say. And, uh, you know, David just proved that one for us right here this evening. And he's always on point. I mean, the man is amazing. So please make sure you friend him on, your, on his Facebook page. Trust me, you'll want to. And um, it's David H. Medium on, uh, uh, on the Facebook page. And uh, this way you'll know when he goes live and you can check him out. And he is so fabulous and on point. And um, David, is there anybody on the, the comment feed list that is jumping out at you that you'd like to connect with um i wanted to go i did see someone where have they gone where have they gone um linda hinton alba she jumped out to me actually yeah um, so david if you'd be so kind or take any advice or words you may have for me i look forward to being okay um what do I want to say to her? I was drawn to her. What do I want to say to her? I feel... Um, I feel a bit deflated with Linda. And what I mean by that is I need a bit of a lift. I need a bit of upliftment is what I feel with Linda. Um, oh, it's gone straight to my stomach. So my, atten my attention has been drawn to my sacral chakra, right? And for me, that is a link to emotions. Um, creativity and some other stuff as well. For Linda, I feel like she's carry, carrying a lot in her sacral chakra, because I feel like she's a bit emotional. It's almost if, if I, in my head I see, like, you know your stomach's in knots? It's that kind of feeling. Um, and that's what I feel with Linda. <laughs> she just it. needs a bit of upliftment at the moment. I don't know if Linda's ever tried this, if she's ever tried um, cleansing the chakras through meditation. But I feel like that would help her to kind of loosen up and cleanse that particular chakra. To kind of get rid of some of those emotions is what I want to say. I just feel a bit pent up in the area. So if she is finding that she has some stomach problem, it may not necessarily be physical. Now, I don't ever predict health or look at health, but I feel like maybe she tries some of that meditation to clear that chakra. And then it might clear some of the heaviness that I'm feeling in that area. That's what I want to say to Linda. Okay, and I'm sure um, she would validate every little thing that you just said. And um, because I know that she has been going through uh, some health issues. Um, uh. Uh, and I noticed here in the feed, uh, Bernadette Arnone saying hi to us. And she wants to know if there's any word from her husband who's passed. Uh, let me see. Bernadette. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've just got a shiver from my body. Um, Bernadette, what I'm, if, if you're watching, hello. <laughs> you obviously are. Um, what I want to do, I'd, it's not to sound creepy, but I want to give you a big hug. I want to give you a bear hug is what I want to give you. 
that's what I'm seeing in my head. So I feel like your husband, he would be known for giving those great hugs, giving those bear hugs, because I feel like I want to squeeze you, is what I want to say. Um, it's also making me aware, now I'm in a bedroom, right, and I'm lying in bed, and I keep turning over, and I keep looking at the clock, and I feel like Bernadette, her sleep pattern is off, and she keeps waking up, because I feel like she does, she wakes up at night, she turns over, looks at the clock, and it's the same time every night. That's what I feel like I want to say. And it's let me know that when that happens, and that might be quite irritating for her to, <laughs> to like mess up her sleep pattern. I feel like I want to say to her, that is him trying to make his presence known during that time of night. Because it feels like quite a tender man to me. And what I mean by that is, it's almost like I'll be in spirit form, I'd lay next to her and I'd stroke her hair or stroke her head. So I feel quite tender with him, but at the same time, I want to give her a big hug because she has never, bless her heart, and not that we ever get over the loss of our loved ones, right, especially when it's your husband, but she still, I don't know how long it's been, but she still suffers such grief from his loss. But it's like I need to say to her, he hasn't left her, and those moments when she does wake up, look at the clock. People don't realise those, those little things are signs, and for, for her, for him, that's his way of letting her know, do you know what, I am, I am with you. Um, and he'll never, and he's saying, I'll never leave her. She knows I will never leave her. But it's like she just needs that reaffirmation that he is absolutely there. Um, oh, well, aftershave. He's talking to me about aftershave. So he would have worn a particular cologne that, I'm, I'll, I'll be surprised if she doesn't still smell her husband at home, where she'll get that quick whiff of aftershave and go, oh, it makes my imagination. It's not. <laughs> Again, that's him coming in with that, um, with that little sign there. So he is absolutely, that's what I'm picking up at the moment, that he's absolutely, absolutely around her. He loves her to death, I've got to say that. Maybe it's wrong choice of words, but <laughs> he loves her to death. And I just wanna, I just wanna give her, I don't know, I just feel like I wanna give her a big old hug. I wanna give her a big hug from the spirit world for him. So there you go, Bernadette, I hope that's all right for you. Fabulous, and I have to say that you are totally on point, David. Okay, I can, give you that feedback there. Um, she, uh, Bernadette happens to be one of my sisters, and um, her husband, um, Gerlando is his given name, but um, everybody called him Jerry. But um, he was just that kind of affectionate Italian, bear hug kind of a guy. So everything oh. you're saying is on point, and so I wanted you to have your validation because Thank you. um, I know how important it is um, just so that you have uh, that energy uh, boost, I want to call yeah. it. Uh, so you're right on point, darling. And also we have uh, Lorraine Lazito, and unfortunately she lost her daughter. And she was hoping, oh, I saw for, that. Yeah. You know, she was hoping for a message if you heard anything um, <laughs> at all. Okay. I did see that, and I was humming and hawing as I come to it, seeing what's picking up. I feel so sad. I know that's really obvious, but I just feel, I look at the comment, and I just feel, like at the heart there, I just feel completely heartbroken. I feel so sad. Bless her heart. Um, oh, okay. What I want to say, I feel like I'm being cradled. Now, I don't know how old her daughter was, um, but I feel like I'm being cradled, and that's, it almost feels like to me that, that is one of the last memories that um, her, daughter ha her daughter has, is being cradled by her mum. That's what I'm seeing in my head. Um, and I'm hearing, she's a little giggler. That's what, she was a little giggler. I'm hearing lots of laughing, but I want to giggle. It's a little giggler. So I, I want, she, she wants to be tickled as well. <laughs> So again, I'm very random, people. Um, but I feel like I want, to, I want to tickle her, and she's got the giggles, and that's what she's bringing in. She's bringing that in almost like a memory link. Um, show me she liked to be tickled when she was little, and she, she was giggling. Um, ribbons in her hair. I could mention the ribbons in her hair as well. She mentioned ribbons in her hair. But I'm hearing, um, she's shouting, Mummy, 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 Mummy. 
but she's saying, Mummy, I am I am all right, I am all right. What I feel is really important to say to Lorraine, bless your heart, um, there, is, oh, hold on. there is no, there is no pain. There is no pain. And there is no, there is, I don't wanna, I wanna say this, but I wanna say it. There is no torment. So I don't know if, how she passed, whether Lorraine is thinking, oh God, is she in some kind of torment now where she is or whatever. But I have to make it very clear, there is no torment, especially in the spirit world, there is no torment. But she's saying to me, mummy, mummy, I'm all right, I'm all right. So please remember that, that she is okay. Um, and I know Lorraine talks to her as well, because I'm being told that even if, even if it's in her head, she's telling me she hears mummy talk to her. So I've got to say that as well. So she's acknowledging the communication that Lorraine is trying to have with her. So she's listening. Um, thank you for... Thank you for kissing my picture. Good night. It's almost like before Lorraine goes to bed, or she gets up in the morning, she kisses it, kisses the photograph of her daughter. And she's saying, thank you for doing that, because she knows she does that, and when she does do that, that's what she's with her at that exact moment. She's with her all the time, but it's those little moments where she goes, like, that's, that's me and mummy time, when mummy kisses my picture. So I want to say that as well. So Lorraine, my love, bless your heart. Your daughter is absolutely fine. Um, you don't need to, need to tell her she loves you. You know that already. Um, but keep talking to her, because that thought that you send out, um, that's energy, and that's your connection with your, with your daughter. So your daughter's not here physically, you can still connect with her from the spirit world, all right? So keep doing that. Um, so i leave that with you there, Lorraine. Lots of love, darling. And once again, very on point and brilliant, David. And uh, we've uh, had another miracle, somebody else uh, holding on the line here. Tommy, are you there? Yes. Hello, Tommy. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> you, you can ask your question of David now. Are you a happy camper or what? <laughs> I'm a relaxing camper. <laughs> You're a relaxing camper? Okay. Yeah. Okay. David, who do you see around me? Who do I see? Oh. Has your dad passed, Tommy? Hello, Tommy. Yes. Tom? Yeah. Um, David asked you if your father has passed. Yes, he has. Okay. That's what I want to go to straight away. I want to go to the male figure um, in the spirit world that's around you. Um, what do I want to say about him? Let me see. It's going to go really hot, that's what I know. Um, Tom, is there a military connection on your dad's side? Yes, he was in the uh, Air Force. Oh, he was? Okay, that's what I'm seeing in my head. Because um, I feel like a really strong, physically strong man. Because what I want to do, because I, I do slouch a little bit. He's making me sit straight up straight, my shoulders back, my chest out, and I don't normally do that, to be honest. <laughs> A bit. Um, but yeah, your father, because I've seen him in his military uniform, but he comes across very strong, um, very physically strong, very strong-minded as well, but he's absolutely around you. Um, no one else is stepping in. Who's the smoker? Was he the smoker or were you the smoker? Yeah, uh-huh, both. Okay. Because he's... <laughs> and nothing would have stopped him smoking, would it? So I feel like that's what he liked to do. Even if he went to, the, for example, if he went to the doctors and someone and the doctor said to him, no, I think you need to stop smoking a little bit, he would have gone, yeah, whatever, and carried on smoking. So he's carrying on doing that. So as I see him in his uniform, he stood there with his cigarette going, keeping an eye on you, I have to say. Um, but yeah, that's what I feel initially at this moment, time, is your dad is very much around you, very much around you. Um, he's not bringing any other kind of information, any other message here, uh, but he wants you to know that he is absolutely there, all right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you, uh, again. do you see me, uh, owning a, buying a house? Let me see. Okay. I've just heard it's coming, it's coming, but what I, will, I will preface it with, I think you've been quite patient anyway, 
but this is something that's not, it's not going to happen like tomorrow or next month right. or whatever. I don't feel until next year that potentially it will happen, but I just heard in my head it's coming, it's coming, but you're going to need a bit of patience with it as well, right? Uh -huh. um, read before you, hang on, and make sure I'm being told to get smart people, so the lawyers, right, get smart people, because I'm being told, make sure before you sign that dotted line that you know what the small print is. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's not a warning, it's just information for you. Before you sign any dotted line, make sure you've got smart people to look at um, that that small print for, before it happens. So it's coming, but you may need to be a bit patient with it, because I don't see it until next year. Can, right? you, can you give my father a message for me? I hope you can give it yourself. I say to well, people, I try to I've taught. I told them numerous times, thanks for telling me to go to the hospital, that I didn't die. Well, you, you just told them yourself, and I, I, I try to empower people to do it themselves, because I always say on my own page that you don't need a medium to give your message across. You Again, it's sending out that thought. Oh, yeah, I, to I talk to him all thought, the time. So, yeah. But he knows, because he knows what's going on, all right? All right, thank you. Thanks for yeah. calling in, Tommy. Thanks, Grace. And if you're watching, don't alive, don't go away. We're gonna be right back with the one, the only, the amazing David Hale. Hail to David. Whoop, whoop. We'll be right back. <laughs>